Thank you for tuning in to TTV. I'm your host, Toya, and today is Tuesday. So Tuesday is usually when I do some type of alternative medicine or talk about an herb or something along those lines. And today is no different because we are going to talk about time, okay? Um, no, not time that you have that you live in a day-to-day -day life, but time as in the herb. I'm trying to pull some of this out so you can see. So there we go. So this is time, okay? It's a beautiful herb. You see that? I also have a picture for you, as you can see. So what are some of the benefits of time? Because this is something that most of us have in our cabinet. It has a very strong, beautiful aroma. Um, it's something we may add to our soup, your Italian dishes, because I think um, Italian spice or the Italian seasoning usually has time in it as well. Um, but it's one that you probably have in your cabinet you use all the time but you probably did not know that it is good for all the things that it is good for so we know we can cook with it but did you know you can use it to help with coughs okay it's really good for coughs and like whooping cough um just um, cough that you may have from a common cold things like that it's, it actually acts as a sort of uh, suppressant for it so it's good to have you can make you a tea out of it to drink if you're dealing with that kind of issue um, it's also good if you have a su suppressed menstruation it will help bring that up so if you're one of those where your menstruation is all out of whack then you can actually use it time <laughs> to help regulate that and I'll have links below that you can click on as well that you can get additional information on this as well um, time is also a good herbal source for iron so if you're lacking iron start using time more uh, put it more in your foods you can use it on your vegetables on your uh, your meat in your soups stews like it's, it's very versatile or just make a tea out of it um, so you can use it for that to help with your menstruation um, it also acts as a natural deodorant so we all have been there <laughs> where you experience that you just not feeling so fresh okay and usually that has to do with a lot of the foods that we eat if you're eating a lot of fast food a lot of unhealthy things then you tend to smell more and that smell comes out a lot when you're exerting yourself like doing exercises walking things like that so including time in your diet and using it on a regular basis or drinking a tea out of it will actually help as a natural deodorant okay um, a lot of your green herbs will do that because it's the chlorophyll in it that will actually help to <laughs> keep you deodorized <laughs> um, something else that it is it's a great antibiotic okay it acts as a wonderful antibiotic in the body so add it for that so it can help with like yeast infections um, it can help with um, other infections bu uh, boosting your immunity um, and let's see oh bacterial infections that's the other one it can help with the bacterial infections as well so it's a good thing to add to your everyday life for those reasons uh, let's see oh it actually helps to um, pull worms out the body. That's something that we don't like to talk about, but it's something that I've been talking about a lot lately because we have parasites in our body and we don't realize that we have them in there and they wreak havoc on our body. And I know it's kind of nasty and disgusting and most people don't want to talk about it, but those parasites in your body are living. Like you are their environment. So think about everything that you do in your environment, okay? Just inside your own house. That's what these parasites are doing inside your body. So in your, in your <laughs> habitat, in your house, you eat, sleep, drink, pee, poop, fart, all of that good stuff in your house. And that's what these parasites are doing in your body. And then we don't realize the havoc that they, can re that they can cause in our bodies. And everybody has them. Nobody is immune to them. Um, like I mentioned before, I saw a little video where they had a praying mantis and they put it in, I don't know what the liquid was, but they put it in liquid and this worm that came out that was like 10 times longer than this dang praying mantis, okay? The mantis was like this long, that worm was like this long, okay? So everything that moves and breathes has these in them. And if they get to a point where they're wreaking havoc on your body and causing gas, bloating, um, they settle in and ca cause inflammation. They can cause disruptions in your digestion. It's like so much that parasites can do to your body, okay? And so to have something in your day-to-day -day life that can kind of control that and help keep it at a minimum and get rid of the ones that are really getting out of whack, 
time is something good to add to it because it's going to actually help you feel better and benefit you in the long run. Um, I just want to make sure I hit everything. Um, nope, I didn't. So, because <laughs> I'm telling you, this little thing, this little herb, this is why I like to do herbs that we all have in our cabinet or what we've heard of before, because we don't realize that this is stuff that we use and we cook with, but we don't realize how it benefits us. You know, the magical properties in these herbs. And that's why I like to choose those. So another thing that it does is it helps to calm the nerves. Okay, so it's soothing and it's calming. So if you're really stressed out, make you a cup of thyme tea. And it can just be, and this is something simple. You know, you just heat up some water, let it, you know, don't let it boil, but let it just, just about to start to simmer because this is just a leaf. So just let it start to simmer and then throw in the leaves, turn it off, let it sit there and seep for about five, 10 minutes. And then add some lemon to it, add some honey, maple syrup, whatever it is that you use for sweetener, add that to it and drink it. It's just as simple as that. It takes you about, what, five minutes to make? Um, and then it gives you so many benefits, so many health benefits to it. Um, again, I want to make sure I got everything. Um, helps to fight acne, helps to lower blood pressure, boosts your mood. That, and that probably is because of the calming effect it has. It's also aromatherapy. Helps to repel and plant pests. I'm telling you, it's just like so much that this little tiny herb does. And I didn't even realize everything it, do, it did until I looked this up to share with you guys. Like I knew some of the stuff it had, but I didn't realize it did all of this. So it's a really amazing herb, and like as most of the herbs in our cabinets are, which is again why I like to share this with you. So if you got something out of it, please like, subscribe, and share because if you got something out of this content, chances are someone else will as well. Um, but remember, a lot of times those herbs that you have in a cabinet are so powerful and so worth so much more than just adding to your food. Sometimes the benefit that they can give to and provide to you health wise is just absolutely miraculous. Okay. Um, I love you guys and I will talk to you tomorrow.